Hey everybody, Kyle here, also known as AcidRain64, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Dead Rising 2. Um, so, um, in between this part and the, la the, the first part, um, I noticed that um, this game lags. Um, actually, it doesn't lag, that there is some off-syncness with the audio when I use um, certain programs to record this. I was using Marillus Action, and uh, that's been really good in the past for me, but um, it was causing the game to be really, really off sync. Like the audio was off sync in the last part um, later in the video. So in order to fix that, I tried a few different programs. Um, Fraps looked really good or worked really good. Um, the only thing with that is that the file sizes were like really big and I didn't really like that. Um, and I happened to research it a little bit, and I found out that with my the graphics card I have, which is um, an NVIDIA card, I can use something called Shadow Play, which basically just um, captures the game footage. And uh, it doesn't capture my mic, so I still have to use Audacity to, re to record that. Um, but yeah, I tested it out, and uh, it records everything just fine. There's no lag, there's no issues. There's no off syncness, so I am I am very happy with that. Um, so that is what I will be using to record from now on, and uh, that means I can still keep these parts pretty long and uh, not have any any audio issues. So um, back to talking about the game. Um, we we saved Denise um, in the last part. She was she was a survivor who was in Roy's Mart, uh, where we got our first uh, dose of Zombrex. And uh, we have to give it to Katie between 7 and 8 a.m. And I believe, let's see what time it is, it's 5 a.m. So we have two hours before we can even give her the Zombrex, which leaves us a decent amount of time to go um, do something here in um, one of these casinos. Um, so what we're going to be doing before we can give Katie the Zombrex is an unmarked side quest. Um, I believe it's only available um, for a few hours after you give Katie the Zombrex, maybe maybe an hour or two. So um, what I like to do is knock this out um, while we're waiting for that, that time to give Katie Zombrex. Um, and uh, you don't get any notification about this this side quest, and we will be fighting a, a, a psychopath. So I would make sure that before you come and do this, make sure you um, have at least one or two really good weapons. I have a sledgehammer and a bat, which will be um, just fine. And try to have at least one food item. Um, if you're following this path, um, you will pass through the, the food court. There is another way you can go to get to the, the casino we're going to. And I guess I'll show it on the map. We basically need to get to the Yucatan Casino. So you just go straight through Royal Flush Plaza and you will end up in the Yucatan Casino. Um, so if you if you follow this way, you can also go through the Platinum Strip, um, which is that big main outside area. And that's... I, I wouldn't really do that because it is crawling with tons and tons of zombies. Um, and it's, I don't really think it's any quicker than going this way. And you also get the chance to pass through the food court, which will allow you to pick up some food items if you need them. Um, if I remember correctly, there's also a gun that you can get in here, but I think it's all the way up there, and I'm not messing with any of that, because we, we, we are on kind of a uh, time limit. Um, but yeah, so let's go. Hey, buddy! <clears throat> Snowflake hungry. Oh, crap. Look what I found you, pretty girl. Fresh 
Meat. <laughs> Whoa. Look. There's plenty of zombies around for her to eat. No! No, not zombies! That meat is rotten! It's like all her food now! It went bad! She needs meat. Fresh meat! Okay, okay. Not zombies. But I can help. I can get her some food. Some steak. No! People not been very good to me. Not like Snowflake. Snowflake, my friend. Listen, let's talk this over. What's your name? Theodore. But everyone call me Ted. That's good. You don't have to do this, Ted. We just need to slow down and talk this over, right? Nice and slow, Ted. No! Ted, not slow! They all said that! Ted, not slow! Stop saying that! See, people not nice! Snowflake, go and eat your fresh meat. Nice and slow. <laughs> okay, so Ted is a very interesting psychopath. Um, I don't really, I don't really feel like this guy is is bad. He's just. Very misunderstood. Um, and I feel bad for almost having to fight him. But, yeah. He's, he's probably one of the easiest um, psychopaths in, in this game. Just kind of whoop on him. Uh, don't attack Snowflake. Because we will want to do something with her in a bit. But he goes down just like that. So sad. Dad, no feel so good. Snowflake! Kitty! Come, Kitty! You still hungry, girl? Take me, Snowflake! Ted, feed you! Ted, take care of you! Fresh meat! Just for you, kitty! Kitty... Kitty... Time for... Supper... Aww. Unlike most of the psychopaths in this game, I don't really think he's a bad guy. He's just really, 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 um, misunderstood. He's slow, and thus misunderstood. Anyway, so once you take down Ted, we want to tame Snowflake. Um, and in order to do that, you'll need steak. And there's three steak you can get here in this area. Um, I believe you do need to get Snowflake all three of the steak. And uh, this can be kind of difficult. Um, Snowflake will try to attack you periodically. Um, but you can kind of dodge her, but I'm just really bad at it. So here's what I'd like to do. Um, I like to get in this little area here, drop one of the stake, and then just kind of linger around. Actually. Um, okay. So she's going to charge. I'm going to try to run. Hopefully she'll eat that steak. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, now, for some reason, um, she didn't eat all of the steak. And uh, I actually did have a failed recording of this. Um, I actually failed 
um, to get to Katie in time after doing this. Um, so I just had to botch that entire like recording session. Um, oh shit. Okay, come on, get off. Ooh. We need to eat something. Alright, let's see. She can't get you up here, so if you if you're losing a lot of health, just come up here and eat something. Um I wouldn't eat any of the steak. Because or else you'll have to come back and try to get Snowflake again. And there's only three steak in this area. Alright, let's see. So we'll try to get her to come and do this again. Shoot. Yeah, if she's not paying attention to the steak, like what I like to do is just kind of hang around the outside of this area. I try to line myself up with Snowflake so that um, the steak remains like in between us, if that makes any sense. So yeah, she was going to try to come for me, but instead she went after the steak. Alright, let's see. Here we go. And for some reason it didn't consume the steak, which is kind of weird. Um, Okay, so we need to do this one more time, I think. Um, basically, what you're trying to do is get Snowflake's health bar. I need to learn how to roll, because I'm probably going to die if I don't figure that out. Um, but you're trying to get Snowflake's health bar up to full, and uh, then she will follow you. Okay, let's see. Yep, I think she's going to go for it. Alright, is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Whoa, good kitty. Alright, and with that, we have gotten Snowflake as a survivor. Um and she will follow us to the safe house, which is kind of cool. Um, so the good thing with uh, Snowflake is that she's really good at taking care of herself. Um, so if you wanted to take care of some other things uh, while you had her following you, um, it's not really hard. So she's not a big deal. Now if you remember in the cutscene when we first entered this area, there was a guy who ran away when he saw uh, Ted behind us. And he actually comes into this room right here. I'll go ahead and show it on the map because I myself had trouble finding this. So uh, just in this room right here near the entrance to um, the silver strip from this casino. But you just come in here and uh, we'll talk to him. Lenny not like Big Kitty. Is she safe? Lenny scared of Kitty. Uh, don't worry, she's tame, Lenny. Okay, Chuck Nice. Lenny show... You know where to turn the slot machines on because Chuck's so nice. Chuck nice, follow Lenny, Lenny show you. Okay, so he's just as slow as Ted was, but uh, I feel like this guy is maybe a little more clueless. Do I have to actually open a door? Okay. Hello? Oh, okay, there he goes. Um, so what you want to do right after you talk to Lenny, just follow him. And uh, he's going to turn on the, uh, the slot machines in this casino. And I guess this is good if you really want to try to get money. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend playing the slot machines to get money in this game. But, uh, yeah, and after you follow him, he'll follow you and you can rescue him, which is pretty nice. Okay, come on. So, and um, the fact that he's auto path in this, like he goes straight to where he needs to. Um, he doesn't get caught up on zombies very easily, which is good. Um, but okay, so he leads us into here. Let's see, Lenny shows uh, show you switch turn. It turns on all slot machines. So pretty. Maybe Chuck win big. Holy crap! I can't read what you're saying. Um, okay, so we just use this. And it turns on all the slot machines. Thanks for sh showing me this, Lenny. Does Lenny want to go somewhere to play safe? I can take you to a safe house. Lenny thinks safe sounds nice. Lenny, follow. Okay, you just um, had better English just in that than you did when I was talking to you just a second ago. 
Oh, I think we can... Okay, that's that actually reminds me of a combo weapon we can get later, but we're not to that point yet. Okay, so let's see what time it is. 6.43 a.m. We have an hour and 15 minutes to um, get back to Katie. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head straight back to the safe house. Um, I may or may not show this. Actually, you know what? I'll show this, this trip. Um, I might end up cutting some things out as time goes on, but um, I don't think this is a big deal to show. Uh, except when I don't have anything to say, really. Um, this is actually our first um, little dose of transporting people around. Um, I mean, Denise, at the very beginning of the game, wasn't very hard. Um, because you get her in the same plaza that the entrance to um, the, uh, the safe house is in. So that's not really a big deal. Um... But when you're trying to get people from the that Yucatan casino that we were just in um, all the way to Royal Flush Plaza, it can be a little difficult. Um, and the biggest thing to remember is that when you're transitioning from area to area and you have survivors following you, make sure that um, make sure that um, there is a green symbol above their name before you. Um, into the next area or else they won't follow you and they'll be stuck in the area you were just in and that is not good and if you're in one part of the one part of fortune city and you have a survivor in another part um, they just gradually lose health until they die um, okay so it's 7 a.m. and I think this is the call uh, hurry back to the safe house and give Katie her Zombrex Okay, so that is what we are going to do, um, and we are getting caught up by zombies left and right. Um, okay, but here we are, almost into Royal Flush Plaza. I'm just going to meet you back at the safe house, because I don't think anything new is going to happen in between now and then. Stay right there. Okay, we made it, and before we enter here, we want to make sure they both have that green door above their head. And we are good. Roar, says Snowflake. Apparently she's three years old. That's cool. Alright, so for that, I think we just leveled up twice. See, that's why um, saving survivors is the best way to level up in this game. Okay, hey, inventory, nice. And we got a new skill move. Okay, we'll check out all that in a bit, but we want to get Katie her Zombrex real quick. Um, alright. Hey, honey. I told you I'd get some Zombrex. Sure are daddy's girl. Look, Dad, I got a new power in Mega Man. Holy crap, I never noticed it before, but she is playing Mega Man 7. And I think that music was from the very start of the game. That's actually pretty sweet. I never noticed that before. Okay, so this is the case file screen, and this basically shows us um the the main layout of the entire story um so we just did zombrex one which i guess is the first time we give katie zombrex and then we have case one coming up and that's basically like the first chapter of the game um okay so let's save and continue i'm going to do the third slot just in case something happens with this recording received a broadcast from our field reporter, Rebecca Chang, who is inside Fortune City. It is clear that the outbreak started in the Fortune City arena during last night's Terror is Reality show. Information received from a behind-the-scenes source reveals that this outbreak was not an accident, but rather an act of terrorism. This shocking footage was obtained from a source inside the Fortune City arena, the site of the Terror is Reality game show. It may be upsetting to some viewers. Initial reports suggest that the man 
What? Green, a member of the zombie rights protest group Cure, was a contestant in tonight's pay-per-view game show. Acquaintances describe Green as a known drifter who is still angry over his wife's death in the Vegas outbreak. This horrible act of terror appears to be an escalation of violence for the protest group. This is Rebecca Chang, reporting live from the Fortune City Hotel in the heart of Fortune City. What? That's complete bullshit! That was not me. Did you have something to do with this? No way, not in your life. My daughter and I barely get out of that arena alive. What possible reason would I have to do something like that? Why are they saying you're part of Cure? I went to one meeting, once. After I lost my wife. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. I think I know why. It's not the first time members of Cure have been falsely accused of being involved with an outbreak. We were in town protesting that awful show you were on. Do you believe me? I don't know what to believe. But you sure don't seem like a terrorist. And I know we weren't involved. Look, we have three days before the military rolls in. That's how much time I have to prove I'm innocent. The reporter, the one at the hotel. The tape she had, it's a complete fake. She said she had a source. Whoever that is must know more. I need to find out where she got it. She said she was in the hotel. I'll keep an eye on your daughter. I won't say anything to her. I don't want her to worry. Alright, so the story is set. Um, apparently someone let a bunch of zombies out in the city, and now Chuck is getting accused of it, and he is pissed. Alright, so... Um, you have been framed for the zombie outbreak in Fortune City out of some weird coincidence. Track down clues to uncover the truth about what has happened. Clear your name and escape from the city. Okay, so that is the goal of this game. Um, and those little Zombrex things that are thrown in there, that's just um, keeping Katie alive, pretty much. Um, but yeah, that's um, a, a pretty good start. So, um, we're going to do a few more things in this part. Um, now, like, in the story, we can head to the next, um, mission, which is, uh, or the next, the next story mission, which is in the hotel, and if we look on our map, let's go ahead and pull that out here, um, okay, apparently there's something else we need to do in here, but the hotel is somewhere yeah right here um, near the arena so that's where we're gonna be heading but let's see um, I think this guy wants to talk to us look I don't know if I can trust you but if you're going to keep bringing people back I've got something that might help you out I promise I won't get in your way what is it it's supposed to be key to all the maintenance rooms around Fortune City don't know might be something useful in them okay we got the maintenance key Alright, so maintenance key, maintenance rooms are located throughout Fortune City, um, and we can find them on the map, yada yada yada. Okay, so basically what those maintenance rooms let us do is uh, they allow us to make combo weapons, and we'll be introduced to that in just a second. And it's actually super, super convenient. So in your inventory, anytime you see that little... Um, like tool mark up there that means that's an item that you can use to combine and make a combo weapon um stacy will send you messages about the interesting things hap uh, she sees happening around fortune city each mission has a time limit uh, messages will lead you to survivors of the zombie outbreak scattered around fortune city okay so we have one man's trash um mo's imaginations that's the looters and we will visit them in a bit um yeah, as I was saying... Oh, another one. Uh, lost. Trigger happy lady... A moment of arm, taking out zombies near the area arena entrance. Okay, we'll go there in a bit.
Alright, so we got the Spiked Back Combo Card. Alright, so combo cards give you the recipe to build powerful combo weapons. The cards you have found are all on the combo card screen. Uh, killing with combo weapons gives you bonus PP. Um, yeah, the wrench icon, I already explained that. Um, so here's the list of combo weapons we can make. You can also kind of build weapons. Whoops. Um, you can build weapons, like, if you just know how to build them. You don't have to have a combo card. Um, and when it comes to combo weapons, if you have two weapons that you can... Or two things you can use to make into a combo weapon in your inventory... Uh, the tool icon will glow, so we'll put the the bat and the nails together, and we will get a pretty nifty combo weapon. Good. All right, so we got the spiked bat, which is a pretty powerful uh, melee weapon. Um. So yeah, I, there's so many cutscenes at the beginning of this game, I kind of forgot what I was saying. Um, okay, so we got a few side quests we can do. Um, there's actually one that's going to appear right as soon as we come through here. As you can see, there's someone, uh, Lissandra, right up there. Um, Gordon better be sorry he ever left me. Um, we're going to ignore Lissandra and come over here and talk to Gordon. Um, so apparently they know each other. Oops, I don't need that painting. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey buddy, there are zombies everywhere. Come with me and I'll get you to a safe place. Uh, I can't. I'm a coward and that doesn't deserve to live. Buddy, don't say that. Uh, why couldn't I be brave? Can be brave. What is stopping you, sir? Such a coward, I can't believe I left my, life, my wife out there. Having to be a um, big boned woman in yellow, would she? I found my pookums. Please take me to her. Alright, so we gotta take him to Lissandra. This is a super easy little side quest, and it's one that isn't, um, you don't get any notification for. And I mean, it kind of makes sense that you don't really need notification. Um, okay, so. Oh, and he's being bagged, grabbed by a zombie. Oops. Okay, so I think they're trying to hug, but they're kind of surrounded by zombies. I think that's a very bad idea. Oops. Alright. Let's see. Oh my goodness, this is stupid. I mean, I don't know. I kind of hate that they programmed that, but... So before they actually reunite, they do have to go through this hugging animation. Which, okay, there we go. And then we will just talk to them again. I hate to bring up this lovely re reunion, but it isn't safe out here. He's right, let's go, Gordon. Yes, dear. Alright, so we have both of them with us now, and we're going to go ahead and take them straight to um, the safe house. This, um... It's kind of like in Dead Rising 1, there is a pair of survivors you find um, on the roof by the safe house in that game, like, right as soon as the game starts. And I think that's a kind of nice nice of a little... little I don't know how to sentence, um, but it's just a nice little, little throwback. Alright, so we'll go ahead and rescue them, and I think we'll call it a part after that. Um, I don't know how, this is, how long this has been because I didn't start a timer or anything, but, alright. <laughs> Might have been better off with the zombies, ooh, kind of harsh. Alright, that brings us up to level 7 already, holy crap. What do we get for that? Attack damage increase, that's nice. And we got a combo card, um, the pole weapon, which is actually a pretty good, pretty good combo weapon. Um, let's go ahead and look at our status real quick. So we got an attack upgrade, our life's looking pretty good, item stock, throw distance. Um, we got the jump kick uh, skill, which is pretty nice if you're trying to just get through zombies. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this part off here. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And I will see you guys next time on Dead Rising 2 when we do more story stuff. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.